In this video, you will be coming along with me on my first solo travel destination, Kamigan Island. Solo travel has been on my mind for a long time now, and honestly, before this trip, I was scared and uncertain of who I would find and what I would find. My hope is that you will learn more about Kamigan Island in this video and be interested in visiting this beautiful destination in the future. So let's get on the ferry to Kamigan Island and face our fear of solo travel together. Yeah, it's just me. <laughs> the longer I stayed on the ferry and the closer I got to Kamigan Island, the higher my excitement level rose. I knew I wasn't truly alone. I'm taking you with me. Do you feel the anticipation? It's time to experience Kamigan Island together. We have a packed day for you guys. I'm so excited to show you guys everything Kamigan Island has to offer. We are at the port of White Island. We are going to be boarding on boat 11. The sea wind ignited my senses and in no time we landed on the sandbar island in the Bohol Sea. One of the locals here recommended I go here first. Still around sunrise right now. It is the best time to go because it's not too hot. There's no trees, there's no plants. You don't have to worry about sheltering. We get an amazing view of Kamigan Island from here. I'm gonna walk along this winding island. I hope you guys enjoy White Island with me. As I walked, the tide came in and I experienced the Bohol Sea crashing into itself. The only structure on the island was a lifeguard tower, so I hung out there for a while before meeting my new friend Jokans. Jokans is the henna tattoo artist on White Island who gave me my first ever henna tattoo. Hello, I'm Jokans. I'm a henna tattoo artist. We're going to try sea urchin next to the beach here in White Island. Sea urchin? Very sweet. <laughs> Good? Oh yeah, that's very good. Cheers, cheers, cheers. One, two, three, go. This one is better than the first one I tried. This is really pretty. Isn't White Island breathtaking? I wish we could stay, but I have so much more planned for us. Our next stop will be a place that's unlike anything I've shown on the channel before. I hope you enjoy our time there together. We just arrived at the second. Ah. Oh. Hello. What's your name? Nelva. Indai. Indai. I'm a retired teacher. We book a book volcano three times. Erupt. First eruption is 1948. Second eruption 1949. Last eruption 1951. There are plenty of died persons. 3,000. Oh, really? Yeah. Here. Here in Kamigan. That cemetery during Spanish period. 151 years gone already. Try to snorkel. snorkel. I'll try. There. Nice so to meet you. Nelva. Okay. Continue. The Sunken Cemetery. A cemetery is a burial ground for the dead. The Sunken Cemetery wasn't always sunken. In the 1870s, a volcano in the vicinity erupted. This resulted in the cemetery and the city surrounding it to sink below the sea. People were unable to place flowers for the dead. The gravestones disappeared over time. The man-made island and giant cross off the coast of Kamigan Island was built to remember what was lost here. When I entered the water, all of my senses were heightened. The head of a fallen statue was seemingly the only clue that a city and a cemetery were here in the past. The longer I stayed in the water, the more time I had to think about what I was actually doing. I'm visiting this city and its cemetery over 150 years after it has disappeared. Nature has taken this area back and all the life I'm seeing here, the fish, the giant clams, the tiniest organisms I can't even see are living where people used to live. This was the coldest I had ever felt in the water in the Philippines. I was trying to imagine the people who lived here in the 1800s. Did they eat giant clam? What were their dreams? Just how many people were buried right here, right under me? Was the giant fallen cross that I can't even fit into the frame visited every Sunday for mass? The darkness of the ocean and the padding of the rain on my body only elevated the experience in this atmosphere. It still gives me chills thinking about this place and I absolutely love it. If you have the chance to visit the sunken cemetery off the coast of Kamigan Island, take it. If you're lucky, Nelva will be there greeting you with a smile. We 
are at Katibawasan Falls. The rain earlier was definitely a blessing in disguise. The rain really helped the waterfall get to its maximum potential this morning. This is a 70 meter waterfall, the tallest in Kamigan Island. It's awesome to see it going this hard. It was going so hard that they closed the entrance to the bottom of the waterfall. Thankfully, I've got a friend in the air. I recently lost Air Benedict, my first drone. I'm grateful for all 148 flights and everything I've seen because of him. So I met with my friends. I met them on the ferry on the way to Kamigan. Izal. Izal. I'm Michili. Michili. I'm Cherry. Cherry, nice to see you again. <laughs> and this is Carl. Hi. <laughs> I'm living here in Kamigan. Seven years, right? Yeah. Cherry is going to ride with me on the motorcycle. They want me to ride with you. <laughs> Why? This is my first time. Your first time on a boat? Yeah, riding that one. Oh my god. I couldn't believe how lucky I was to have met new friends that were down to go to Mantique Island with me. I think solo travel is great, but nothing beats sharing travel experiences with family and friends. We all share that feeling of excitement of seeing a new place. We all share the thrill of the new things that we experience. We all take home the best souvenir of all, the memories. Carl, can you tell us what it's like living in Kamigan Island? It's a beautiful island, many mountains, not too big, not too crowded. There is no traffic. It's a bit cooler than some other islands uh -huh. and towns. Basically, no crime. My main hobby is tennis. There's tennis courts on Kamigan Island. Four tennis courts. Plenty of people are playing. Youngsters, juniors, adults, also women. I played tennis in high school. Uh -huh. Maybe next time I come, we can play. Yeah. <laughs> You can see Kamigan Island from here. What's this mountain? Timpoong. The most famous is Hibokibo. Before it was a jungle adventure. You had a guide and he had a bolo and cut your oh, way. Oh, really? Yeah. A Filipino by himself decided to make a trail. So it took him many years. But it's done. It's done now. Wow. Friendship is a state of enduring affection, esteem, intimacy, and trust between two people. I love all the new people I meet, and I'm so grateful to be able to share our experiences together with you, the person watching this video now. I remember the first time watching Finding Nemo and I was enthralled by the atmosphere, the vibrance of all the colors, and the diversity of life. In the depths surrounding Mantigue Island, I felt an overwhelmingly calm world. I got lost in this tranquil environment and could hear echoes of Nemo, Dory, and Marlin surrounding me. As a kid, I never thought anything in real life could be as beautiful as the movies. But here we are. What makes a goodbye sad? Goodbyes are sad when we can't control them. Goodbyes are sad when you still have dreams and wishes to be fulfilled with the other person. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Nice to meet you, Carl. Bye. We are at Crito's Crust Pizzeria. This Hi. is the Crito. I. I've only been to one restaurant in Kamigan mm -hmm. during my stay, and mm -hmm. it's been this restaurant. Tell them a little bit about the restaurant, how you started it, and why you like making pizza. I'm looking for a job. I find this place. I talk to the owner. I make rent. And then he said, okay, we make partner only. So no more renting. So now we make a business partner. So now I start to make a business. Now it's also more good. I only get much more salary now. It's that's bigger. Yeah, that's bigger yeah, now. Because I eat every day. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's true. You come like every day and you order like no pizza. Yeah, so. that's, right. that's right. What I like yeah. about Crito's pizza is that it tastes very authentic. It's true because yeah. we use brick oven, yes. firewood. In high school, I traveled to Italy mm -hmm. and I discovered that one of my favorite foods of all time was brick-fired Italian mm -hmm. yeah, pizza. Yeah, true. I haven't been back to Italy, but this is mm -hmm. the first time since I was 16 that I've tasted pizza as good as Italy. So yeah, yeah, more customer from Switzerland. Right. And they said, oh, your pizza is similar yeah. to my place. And then yeah. they order like two pizza and then, wow, it's, it's, you make good, yeah? yeah? They said, yeah, you make a good pizza. 
Oh, this is my pizza now. Yeah, with anjubi and all meat also. Here we make our own homemade anjubi. Okay, I put Ooh. inside. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Wow. wow. Nice. Yeah, interesting. Yeah. One minute more. Okay, now we need to move. Because the oven is hot, no? Look on the bottom, it's yeah. already brown, no? Oh. That tastes so good, though. Yeah, so we need to cook more fast. It's <laughs> a master. Yeah. Well, what kind of wow. wood is this? We use normally the hardwood. Hardwood. Yeah, it's better. It's better taste. More. Yeah, better taste. It's ready. Whoa. Oh, the smoke. Look, look. Okay. Oh. The pizza is more big than the plate. That's it? Yeah, let's go. Wow. Oh, nice. Thank you for showing me the process of cooking pizza here. It's amazing. Yeah, yeah also, I'm so glad. That, thank you very much also. Huh? Yeah, you, of you course. Come to my place and we try our pizza. More than 10 years for Observe to make a good pizza. You can also, taste the pizza. time and the effort. And yeah. if you make it for love, it's smile. That's right. So that's a real pizza and the result is very good. Thank you, Kurt. Okay, welcome. Thank you for coming also. So it's a pizza. The Democritus pizza it has anchovy. Anchovy is the favorite pizza of my dad ever since i was a kid i would ask him what his favorite pizza was he would always say anchovy pizza in the states there's never an opportunity to order anchovy pizza being able to order it here at rito's crust pizza pretty special moment let's eat we can't see into the future if we could we would know if we should be fearful or not of an upcoming experience facing our fears takes a lot of courage but facing my fear of solo travel to Kamigan island turned into new friendships powerful memories and pure joy that will warm me for the rest of my life i appreciate you taking the time to stay with me until the very end